Hey book friends, welcome to day six of Bookmas slash Vlogmas. This is Cassie's Books and I am so happy you're here to join me. I'm gonna get started right away because we have a busy day today. I have convinced my husband to do my two favorite things. We are going to go book shopping and hopefully get a good book haul going on. And we are also gonna see the new movie Avatar tonight, which I am so pumped about. It's all the nostalgic, all the cool, I'm just so excited to see it because I remember seeing this in theaters as a teenager like multiple times so I'm so so excited to see the brand new one. Let's get started by opening my Day 19 Unplugged Box Advent Calendar. I think my predictions is going to be a bookmark. I'm I don't know what else it could be but I'm feeling like these are bookmarks or something like that because it's really flat. So let's see what it is. It's definitely not a bookmark. Is it, it's a feather? It says nature's feather. Is it decoration? What is this? It's a feather pen. Oh, that is so cool. I do not own a feather pin. It has a tiny little star cap, which is so cute. And it goes into a feather, so you could like write things. I wonder how nice it writes. Let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. It writes pretty nice. You can look at my ugly drawn hearts. I'm telling you guys, this box is so cool. Every gift I've gotten, I have not expected. I mean, I kind of expected the socks. I'm wearing them right now, by the way. Um, Super cute. Yes, I love it. Every gift is just so unexpected and I I love I love this. This is so cute. I'm definitely gonna be using this in book pictures and writing out very fancy proclamations to my husband. But I'm really, really excited to go book shopping today. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm waiting for my daughter to wake up from her nap and then we're gonna be hitting the road. I want to go to a couple small bookstores and I'll probably end in Barnes and Noble because I can't resist. Barnes and Nobles are like biggest bookstore that we have in the area and the rest are just small so uh, we're gonna go do that have some fun and hopefully find some good books we are on the way to uh, the bookstores right now we're trying to map out our plan because i want to hit some smaller uh indie bookstores in our area too so we'll see if I make it out to Barnes & Noble. It is snowing pretty bad here. So we'll see what the roads are like after I hit um, some small bookstores and may or may not make it out to Barnes & Noble, we'll just see. But no matter what, I am going to Tim Hortons. So we're gonna get some coffee and get some donuts. We'll see. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 making our Christmas memories. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me four, five, six books. Some of these I've already read, but I had just borrowed from the library, so I definitely need them on my bookshelf. 
and I really want to reread some of these books. So yes, I will show you all of them though when we get back home. Don't even care what we do if we spend it with you. it's so dark here it becomes nighttime at 5 p.m here in the winter so we're just living in the darkness right now we are about to go see avatar we're just waiting for my mother-in-law to get here to watch our daughter hopefully it's so good it's so hyped right now so i really hope it lives up to the expectations we basically waited like what for 10 years now for this movie so i'm really hoping it's super good it is three and a half hours long though so it's a long movie we'll see how it goes Okay guys, it is the next day. We uh, did our book shopping and then we ha went and saw Avatar last night. It was so, so beautiful. It was almost like, it was almost like watching a book. It was pretty, my husband thought it was a little slow, but I really enjoyed it. And there was some action, but it was just so well thought out and every piece was so intricate and led into the next scene and it all just needed to be there so everything made sense. It was a three and a half hour movie so we got home super late which is why i'm filming this part now but it was so so good and i highly recommend you go see it i absolutely loved it it was so stunning beautiful definitely worth a 10 or 12 year wait between the very first avatar to this one and from the ending it looks like there's going to be a third avatar so i'm excited it was so so good i want somebody to recommend me books based on avatar because this is so good let me know in the comments below if you want me to like do some digging and see if i can find some books that are like the avatar our world but let me show you the books I got in my book haul I went to two different local bookstores we didn't end up going to Barnes Noble because the weather was just too bad it was storming and Barnes Noble is a bit of a drive from us and we just didn't want to go on the roads when they were icy so we just went to these two bookstores let me show you first bag okay so very first ones lots of these books you have already read but i just want them on my bookshelf so i got the giver and gathering blue these are both like such classic books i loved reading these when i was in like high school and middle school i believe i read them i've read it more than once it's just so good i love reading about jonas and the creepy dystopian thing that they have going on in this novel it's really really good guys there's a note in this one what oh my gosh this is why i love shopping used books it says hello i know we've never met but based on your choice of literature i think we would make great friends sincerely a fellow bookworm oh my gosh that is so cute okay i wish you'd loved your number bookworm person because i would have texted you we could have been besties I found Kingdom of the Ash, which is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. I'm reading Empire of Storms right now, and the next is, what is it? Tower of Dawn. So I still have to buy Tower of Dawn, but now I got this one, and it was $3. $3, guys. Such a good deal. Then I got Dark Fever. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite fantasy romance series. I read this back in high school or maybe a little after high school. So good. So I got the very first book because they had it. Then I got Dream Fever. I had read these from the library, so I want them on my shelf because I honestly kind of want to reread it. And then I also got Fever Song, which is like a farther off spinoff, which I actually haven't read this one. I read the three first like three or four books in the series, I think. And I haven't read the rest of them. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to collect the series and reread the whole thing. I got this giant, beautiful, hard book edition. And then I got this one, which I couldn't resist. Look at that cover. Oh my gosh. It's giving me all my Kindle Unlimited vibes. I love it. It's called Wolf's Mate. It's a shifter romance, guys. That's all you need to know. Shifter romance. Beautiful. I'm sure it will be a really fun quick read. Let me get my next bag out so I can show you what I got. So lots of these I've already read, but I don't even care. I like rereading books because it's a comfort and this one oh came in a giant bag 
also got a lot of books. I also got some books for my husband because he likes reading kind of like more financy books, which are really, really boring, but whatever. Use your own. So I got the first four books in the Harry Potter series because I've actually read the series probably like five or six times from like middle school to adulthood in total but I don't actually own the books I've always just borrowed them from the library so I was like this is time it's time and I saw them and I wanted them so I got it but yeah I got the first four books of the Harry Potter series I well this will always be one of my favorite series forever forever my husband got some boring finance books this is the stuff he reads guys steps to wealth yeah that's okay he can read the self-help books I'll stick to my fantasy romance and then I got by Karen Harper Down River. This one sounded really interesting. And I think it's, um, oh, it's almost 400 pages, which is, what? Dude, it's these books that, yeah, it's almost 400 pages. These tiny, weird books. How did, 400 pages? It's so tiny. Okay. Anyways. Attending a corporate retreat at a remote resort in Alaska, Lisa Vaughn is plunged into the frigid rapids of the Wild River. Swept away, battered and alone, she has been left for dead. Lodge owner Mitch Braxton knows something is terribly wrong when Lisa fails to turn up for a private meeting to clear the air and close the book on their broken engagement. Embarking on a heroic search that takes him miles downriver, he saves Lisa from the deadly water, but not before they've been swept deep into the wilderness. Far from civilization, the former lovers must put aside their hurt feelings and find the will to survive against nature. There's a killer on the loose, and for now, they must measure their future together in days rather than years. Sounds so cute! So it sounds like it's going to be like a second chance romance, throw in some like killer plot, suspense, romance. I love these kind of books. It says 400 pages, but I feel like I'm going to read it pretty quick because it sounds just like a really good quick read for me. Next up, I got Dead and Dating. This seemed like such a cute rom-com paranormal book. I have to read the description too because it sounds good. A vivacious vampire with a flair for accessorizing. Lil Marchette is unlike most of her kind. She prefers lively shades of pink to dismal black, so not her color. Plus, she's a hopeless romantic. In need of a steady paycheck to support a compulsive cos cosmetics habit, Lil starts Dead and Dating, D-E-D, -E a Manhattan-based matchmaking service that helps smart, sophisticated singles like herself find eternity mates and may even help her stake a claim to her very own account right. When Lil meets geeky vampire Francis DeVille, he, she knows he's the perfect first client. If she can hook up Francis after a little revamping, of course, she will prove her skills to the vampire community and turn a DED into the hottest dating service in the Big Apple. But just as her business takes off, Lil meets the literally drop-dead gorgeous bounty hunter Ty Bonner, who is hot on the chase of a serial killer. Instantly drawn to the luscious vamp stud, Lil really wants a taste. But as a maid vampire, Ty can't procreate and Lil will settle for nothing less. Luckily, between vampifying Francis and helping Ty solve his murder mystery, Lil has no time for silly romantic entanglements, even if Ty is all that in a Bloody Mary chaser. <laughs> this sounds so funny, so cute. I am so excited to read this. I think this is going to be such a funny read. This is like a cozy mystery, I think. This is a Barely Bewitched by Kimberly Frost. This says, uh, Cammy Joe's misfiring magic has attracted the unwanted attention of Wham, the World Association of Magic. Now a wand-wielding wizard and a menacing fire warlock have come to Duval to train her for a dangerous mandatory challenge. But is there more to their arrival than they claim? When a curse leads to a toxic spill of pixie dust, the town becomes unglued and the doors between the human and fairy worlds begin to open. To rescue the town and to face the impossible magical test, Tammy Jo needs the help of incredibly handsome Brian Lyons, but Wham has declared him totally off limits. To avoid deadly consequences, Tammy Jo probably ought to follow the rules this time. On the other hand, rebellion is an old Texas tradition. Oh my gosh. This is hot and spicy with a bite. This is going to be another rom-com paranormal romance situation. I'm just feeling it. This is what I'm feeling is some comedy uh, fun reads. That one is going to be cute. And then the last book I got was actually, it's actually a book of the month one that they were selling is The Heart Principle. 
I did not get this as my book of the month. When was this? Oh, this was August's last year. Yeah, so I definitely didn't use this as my choice. This is about a girl whose longtime boyfriend decides they want an open relationship, and she's like, what? And she's like, over it, so she goes on a bunch of flings, but the person she's trying to fling with, it doesn't like really work out, so they keep trying over and over again or something. And then uh, something happens. She has like family expectations and they have to fight for their love. Another, it sounds like another cute romance, possibly comedy situation. So I'm really excited to read this. I just couldn't resist getting it. Five bucks. This book was five bucks, guys. Thrifting is the best. I think in total I spent maybe like $70 on all of those books. All of them. It was such a good deal. I love good deals. I love saving money. Yes, I'm very impressed with those are all the books that I've got. I got a bunch of like random ones I've never even heard of before. So I'm really, really excited to read them. I think they're going to be so, so good. Thanks for watching this vlog. It was so much fun going book shopping. Absolutely my favorite thing in the whole entire world. I need to add all these books into my Notion book planner so I can keep track of all the things that I want to read now. And just thank you so much for coming along with me on this Vlogmas journey. It's been so much fun. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Bye!